The templating language in Component Studio 2 provides a powerful set of tools for you to leverage in your designs. You can use math operations, variables, text strings, functions, conditions, and operators, all in conjunction with each other for powerful results. Stick around for a quick overview of these features. First of all, the template language functions in any field where you can enter text. The double curly brackets signal to the system to use the template language. Within this space, you can use any of the mentioned features. If you enter a math operation, the result of the calculation will replace the bracketed area. You can even include variables in the calculations. Here, we're placing the text box 50 pixels below the design trim top variable. Now, let's say you have a section of text that you want to swap out a single keyword from, depending on the card. Look at the monster card. The word enemy precedes the name of the specific monster. See here in the text box, I have the word enemy surrounded by bold tags, followed by curly brackets and the row name. Now, if you want, you can move the text in the template language. But if you do so, make sure it's surrounded by either single or double quotes and has a plus operator. The quotes tell the system that this is a string, and the plus joins the two text strings together. From changing the case of a string to automating the position of a card, you can find them in the designer under the function button. Note that the blue arguments are required and the red arguments are optional. When you select a function, it copies it to the clipboard, including the surrounding double curly brackets. Take some time to look through the template functions and familiarize yourself with them. They provide a lot of useful features. Operators enable you to compare or combine values. Comparison operators look at two values and return a Boolean true or false. Arithmic operators perform math functions, plus, minus, multiplication, etc. Logical operators perform a logical function, like AND, OR, or IF ELSE. String operators manipulate strings, mainly they add two strings together. And lastly, there's the NULL operator. It just looks at a field and signals if it's unidentified or empty. There are some advanced tips about the templating language in the template formatting topic in the help. If you're looking for more control in your design, check that topic out. That's a quick rundown of the templating language. Leverage these tools for adaptable and powerful designs. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have questions or feedback, leave them in the comments below, on our Component Studio Facebook group, or join the conversation on the Game Crafters Discord. Until next time, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make the best games you can.